All right, so this is the second lesson. Now, in the last lesson, they made groups of. This is really still modeling. It's the same, except for now they're making whatever number of groups. So you want to start the lesson by saying, this is the same idea as yesterday. We're still modeling, but it's going to look a little bit different. You have to think about it differently. Because yesterday we made groups of three. That means there were three in a group. We put out a piece of paper and there were three inside. Right? Now it's different. Now it says make three groups. So we need to be different. It's going to be different. We're not going to put count out three and put them in a pile. We're going to count out three groups to start. So it's still division, but division can be modeled two different ways. Let's try it. Here's the dividend. Always the dividend goes first. That's the whole amount we start with that we want to share. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's my dividend, my whole amount. And now I'm going to put it into groups. Now what, we're going to use the work mat. Look over here. Here's 15. Last time, we would take a group and we'd put three in the group, right? This time, we're not doing it like that. We don't want groups of three. We want three groups. So we're going to count out our three groups in advance. Now, when we take three, we don't take the three and put them in the group. This is like we're imagining we're sharing. And so to be fair, I put one in this group, one in this group, and one in this group. I am still keep taking three, but it's different because I don't want groups of three. I want three groups. I keep taking three, but it's one in this group, one in this group, one in this group. One in this group, one in this group, one in this group. I keep taking three, and when I make my three groups, I get groups of one, two, three, four, five. So up here, 15 divided by three is five. There's still, if we had made groups of three, we still would have gotten five as our answer. But the model looks different. This is what groups of three looks like. Group of three, group of three, group of three, Group of three, group of three. Right in the group there's three, and I get five groups. Instead, we want three groups of five. We're going to count five, five, five. You see we get three groups. And now you're just going to keep practicing this with the kids. Their independent practice looks the same way. You do a few more examples using the work mat with different numbers, making four groups. So you're going to count out four of these and then take away and share evenly. And you just go on. At the end, just like the day before, there are story problems. Cut!